2018, after two years of not facing any charges, officers Randy Rodema was found guilty of criminally negligent homicide and assault. His fellow arresting officer, Jason Rosenblatt, however, was acquitted of all charges, which included reckless manslaughter and assault. For those unfamiliar with the case, Elijah McClain was an unarmed 23-year-old black man in rural Colorado. He died after he was forcibly subdued by police and injected with ketamine by paramedics back in 2019. On the body camera footage, you can hear McClain begging for help and telling officers that he could not breathe. And once again, he actually apologized to the officers for his own brutality, which is one of the reasons why that hit me in a very special way. It took two years for Aurora, Colorado to even bring any charges against the officers. And last week's verdict doesn't exactly feel like justice was served, at least for me. Um, only Officer Rodemo was convicted. And what's worse is Officer Rosenblatt could be heard comforting Rodema's wife saying, quote, he may not go to jail. He may not go to jail. That is exactly what this man said. Now, imagine being Elijah McClain's mother, having already lost your son, now knowing that the men who took your son's life may not even see any jail time for it. I personally do not believe that justice was served. Elijah McClain was a wonderful person by all accounts. And even if he weren't, he still wouldn't have deserved to die like that. And the men who did it could receive a slap on the wrist in one instance and absolutely no punishment in the other. Now, Colorado Attorney General Phil Weisler had the nerve to say he hopes the verdict can help the community heal. Those were his exact words. Everyone in Colorado, everyone in the United States, no matter who you are, is accountable under the law. Hopefully today's verdict can be a sign for healing for the Aurora community and for our state. Unfortunately, Elijah McClain didn't get a chance for healing, not to mention the fact that one of the very officers proved that he wasn't accountable under the law. And that is why he will be going home. And apparently he feels the exact same way about his colleague. 